to another amazing time with me today we'll be reviewing drama based on true life experience known as the Tonda. it has 48 episodes um, it was released in 2029 now this true life ex event is based on the watch village in guandon province of um, a particular village known as you know the hub for drug trafficking drug production everything so and it became a fortress one that the police could not penetrate no one could penetrate it became a place that no one could do anything and they are taking control over everything so in 2013 there was a universal launch flood the village bring it down and uh, launch international arrest and associates although they, they've said that um, it wasn't entirely successful but at that time they arrested a lot of of their prominent members and gave a death penalty which was carried out immediately so it made a lot of noise at that time and this movie the tonda has been nominated for a lot of awards has gotten a lot of awards so staring in this movie are Johnny Hwang was Lee Fei in the drama and he was a police officer in the drug uh, trafficking um, unit. We also have Wag Jin Zong. Wag Jin Zong is another personality, like he acted his role, he, he, he was the character of Lee Yang Don. He was like the all and all, the head of Dong San, of that particular village where these drugs were being produced and trafficked. And we have Wu Gang, who was um, Inspector Li Wei, and uh, also a godfather to Johnny Wang. We have uh, Mozi Li, who acted as Chen Ke. Now, Chen Ke is the girlfriend of um, uh, the friend of Johnny Wang, who is also a police officer. Now, this friend of Johnny Wang was killed. The way he was killed, his mother was now primary suspect was, was Li Fei, who is Johnny Wang and he actually went through so much to clear his name you know a police officer being accused of killing his friend killing his fellow police officer with his own gun and all of that but he had he was framed by this drug paint and then we have simon yang simon yang was you know an amazing character his character was lee dian zong we have zeling zhang who was ma yubo in the movie and this drama has to do with the process the frustration you know how this drug go at eating into the police force they had the top police chiefs who were in their pay you know approach you through links through you know using your weakness and all that so it was actually really difficult for the police despite the resources to launch an arrest in this movie you will see that at any time outsiders were not allowed into the village and those who, policemen who went undercover came out dead or half dead or maimed or wasn't a good thing and then those who associated with the police or tried to say one or two things were killed there's no two ways about it you know so you, you see Li Fei trying to gather evidence to bring these people much despite even his godfather Spector Li Wei trying to you know cushion everything and ahead to a plan to bring down these people for several years it took a lot of years for them to pull this off and then we have um, the father the estranged father of Li Fei who is a friend of Inspector Li Wei he has been undercover for a very long time for so many years just to bring down this cartel he, he will do a lot he will go through a lot of practice just to make sure that even when he's captured when he, you know he's drugged uses all kinds of drugs so that when they try to induce him using those drugs or so not give away who he really is he had buried himself deep undercover help of inspector way Li Wei, that removed all his records and all that the scene was when uh, Li Fei got to know his dad and had to enter the village to locate the dad and in the touching scene there was so touching i cried it was really emotional at the end of the day he didn't make it anyway he died what really touched me was that actually this movie is is a real life movie i re i really have reservations watching true life you know movies based on true life events because i'm like oh god this person died okay, this person actually lost their life so this thing happened i feel really awful when watching those kind of movies but hey this movie was a good watch the officers that sacrificed themselves just for the truth to be told you know the flushing of that village a lot of the youths a lot of children even stopped going to school because of drugs drugs in the sense that all of them they just all wanted to be drug uh, peddlers all wanted to produce drugs like the villagers were producing the drugs 
old men, young girls, young women, all of them were all part of the drug. That was what they were doing. You know, in some villages, you say, I'm going to farm. I'm going to do this. That was that one. Especially a particular family. So they were all doing the drugs. When you come in, people, the young boys, they were not going to school. They, were, they had no interest in school. They wanted drug money. So everybody had money. And so it was difficult for you to come and say for us or come and be undercover for us come and tell us what is happening come and be an informant or something because everybody had vested interest in that village even those who had uh, who are related to those in the village somehow you just had to be involved or you see that you just mind yourself the lee yang dong he was the all and all he was a master strategist he would you know look at all the scenarios so it made it difficult for for you to even arrest any of them at all and then you have the police chief mayubo mayubo was a police chief who came to flush out drugs but his wife got shot when she was trying to protect him and because of that because of all those bullet pellets buried in her body she would always have pain so she had to now start doing drugs and of course he had to start buying drugs for her so when these guys these drug uh, barons these drug traffickers got to know that he was on the streets buying drugs for his wife that was how they brought him into this he was always you know he would tell them he would say sorry don't kill le fay um and i don't want to kill anybody when it comes to blood i don't want to shed blood but i can just give you information but at the end of the day it was so sad when everyone knew that he was the one he surrendered but he had already gathered all the evidence and gave it to le fay the people that died in the movie the two brothers who are from that village who died because of a video they have this Rec don't video record any any transaction or anything but this boy because he bought a new phone he just recorded it just like that and then he made it known in the police station that he had recorded it so almost in fact his family was just flushed out but that video made it to Lefei who finally met uh, it but still was not much evidence they kept on the frustration of gathering evidence after evidence but it was not amounting to anything so this movie is such that you know it was a thriller there's no way so one started i was like ah, what am i watching it was actually johnny huang that kept me there because i didn't really understand the movie i didn't understand the synopsis i just thought it was all this detective work and then there will be some love interest and all of that and that and it ends there we moved to episode two that i knew that man this was the real deal it was a thriller in the true sense of the word it was a thriller that you would not want to miss you would see the greed of man the inabilities of man the wickedness of man at play and you will follow it to the end so you see if intrigue is is your thing if drop stories and accounts and true life events are what you're looking for then this drama is for you you would really really love watching this drama and i'm going to be rating this drama an eight over ten which brings me to the end of this review i won't say that there have been 48 episodes because every episode accounted for it because this events were supposed to be explained the way they were explained no cutting corners nothing at all so each episode gave you what you were actually looking for so that when it came to the end of the drama oh you will be satisfied but you'll still be sad to see the drama end okay so up there you'll see my, my nigeria movie reviews my korean movie reviews my chinese movie reviews okay do tell me what you think about this the thunder fiki original do tell me in the comment section what you think about this drama because Johnny An gave it his best. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.